But I think that that is the historic situation in which we are. It's, it's the word we should use and we should offer a, the vision that it promises. My fear is that, you know, that new socialism combined with autonomy of state, and it's not just a bad joke, will be exactly what the combination of the two names imply, national socialism. For me, Hitler was talking about national socialism. He was not talking about national communism. That's what I like. You can make, you can squeeze socialism into right, like all, I read now a note I like to read that, even more than Stalinist text, an old Nazi analysis where they say it's very simple. Communism is Jewish, socialism is Aryan. This is my... Yeah, no, no, no. Let, let, let us avoid this type of uh, uh, projection of the past and the future. Uh, the, the, the capacity of the enemy to, uh, to manipulate uh, uh, words and to, uh, is there and will continue to be there. But I would completely agree with, uh, with uh, Michael in the sense that if we, but we have to, if we define that socialism by fundamentally the target, the target being socialization through authentic democratization and not socialization through basically commodification and the market. That is the principle of solidarity replacing, even if gradually, the principle of competition between human beings and between nations or peoples call them as you want because they are in different conditions. And if you, uh, in, uh, and if you clarify that the final target is equality, real egalitarian, equality between all human beings, of course men and women, of course from different people, colors and people and nations of so-called nations and so on. Uh, then I am sure that the echo, the sympathy that you will, you will, you will get a lot of sympathy from the, the, the common people. Maybe for tactical reasons you may call your organization communist organization. Uh, in, uh, I'm coming from an area where the world is still conveying a lot of positive aspects. Yes, but, uh, but nobody is against this. Uh, this. This sounds very, very nice, very persuaded. But the, all attempts in the, in the past to implement these ideas, you know, you say, you say that... What, who is the past? The past is one stage in history. It's not the end of history. <laughs> It has achieved, and I gave the figure, what the, the worst government that you can imagine has done 3,000, uh, 30,000 better than the, than the previous period of colonization, but which because, was a pattern of globalization. So what? It has come to its end, and, uh, and we'll have another wave, which, okay. because, which should go beyond. Well, because world capitalism needs more educated people in Africa. That's why it happens. It's not because of... Uh, Absolutely not. Absolutely not the opposite. They, Capitalism does not need everybody to be educated. They why, need also why? because why? there are more educated people under capitalism than under any other system. They need educated people. You they had exploited no, others through education. You, you had in the Soviet Union one of the best yeah. educational systems. I think yes. that uh, capitalism is dismantling it. Well, no, no, no not because the Soviet and the Russian people are resisting. Don't okay. trust too much official statistics about the Soviet Union. Okay, we have time just for a please short question because also our translators need to take a rest between the... They are like vampires in shadow, they are eternal. They never <laughs> okay, let's take two hours. So I'm sorry we'll speak for two or three hours more and yes. please let your question be very long. So. Yes, but... Uh, no uh, as you mentioned, whatever happens, happens in history. And history is a long time. So, are we talking about millennium or tomorrow? Are we talking about uh, our human life, meaning next 50 years or five centuries? So, if we don't have quantity, but just quality, if we just use words like communism, socialism, I don't know what, heaven or hell, we don't say anything. It's like a Monty Python show. Without quantification, whatever you say, you are not serious. 
So please, whenever you use some argument, give some quantification. You mentioned uh, if we enter into the uh, European Union, we'll be uh, subjected to more exploitation. But you don't know that uh, uh, the, the rate that we pay to banks before were about 50%, now it's only 15%. And if we enter into the European Union, it will be probably seven, eight, like in Great Britain. So when you use numbers, you are more clear than when you use great words. I, always, I, I stop here. Thank you. I always use numbers. And when I when I said about Greece, I did. What 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 did I suggest? Move out. Control of the capital flows. And then you are in a position, you strengthen your position to negotiate. You go to negotiation, you strengthen your position to negotiate. What you have done in the so-called socialist countries towards the end of, the, of their history was exactly the opposite. You moved into Russia, particularly, but not alone, uh, Yugoslavia, went to borrow from, from foreign capital, etc., etc., and it is at the point where they had lost completely their capacity to negotiate that they entered into a negotiation. Which therefore, it's not a negotiation, it's a capitulation. Yeah, but therefore, is. the principle in politics is that you, you try, at least, maybe you will fail, but you try to create the conditions which are the less unfavorable or the more favorable in order to be able to negotiate. I'm not against negotiation. This is why I, I, I was saying that social democracy in the West, which was a big negotiation between the working class and capital, was a positive thing, not a negative one. But, but if they had this before to do it their own way, why did they start to borrow? Because they screwed it up on their own way. Of yeah. course, of course. And we do agree. They were doing it by no, 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 no. Uh, uh, there was one socialist uh, country which absolutely uh, did but, borrow. It's Romania, sorry, it's not yeah, my idea. Yeah. Look, 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 we're not look. answering the question. The question dealt with the issue of, you know, let's not deal with abstractions, let's deal with specific numbers, etc. And I have to say that I disagree with Samir when he talks about two centuries. That is an abstraction, a complete abstraction. We have to start from where we are right now. And where we are now is the problem of ecological disaster. You know, that's the starting point. We have to recognize, does anyone seriously think that the people of China and the people of India and the people of the South can possibly get the standards of life that, of the North? Can the, can the Earth sustain that? We face a situation of barbarism uh, and, and ecological disaster. So we don't have two centuries. We have to find an alternative now. And that's, you know, and that, that, that alternative can only be with a, you know, with a vision of an alternative. Yeah. Neither the state is the Copenhagen fiasco shows, nor the capital can do it. I don't see why you, you think that we disagree. Yeah, I totally agree with really that. I, I was not saying two centuries in order to postpone the battle. I don't want to repeat it again, of course. So, uh, we, one we final, have... final remark by Mikhail, and then we need to end. Just uh, think about the guy who does not eat. Not really. <laughs> well, he is a problem, but everybody has the same potentiality. Let me tell you, I, 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 you like. I wrote an essay. You know what? This is wonderful news for North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wrote an essay in, in uh, 1992, taught at the, at the, or 1999, in the fall of, of, of the East, etc in which it started with a quote from uh, a poem from, from Brecht, the Bishop of Ohm, where the person climbs up you know, to the top of the steeple, puts on something that looks like wings, tries to fly and falls, and the bishop walks by and says, man will never fly. And, and that's what you're saying. Man will never fly because he didn't fly before. And what I said in the end, end of that essay saying was, what we have to recognize is you can't simply fly with things that only look like wings. Yes. But, but man can fly. Actually. <laughs> okay, I think uh, a big applause for our guests.